Hello there everyone, welcome again to another episode of Let's Play The Lenders of Ocarina of Time. I am Final Fantasy 6464. This is episode 32. In the last episode we started the Shadow Temple and we've completed quite a bit of it already. And in this episode what we're going to do is we're going to hopefully uh, completely finish it. Or proceed a lot more further into it. So, I missed a chest in there, but that shouldn't be important. Now, this is the only time where switching boots in this temple is necessary. These fans will blow you and suck you all day, which is great for some people, but not for an adventurer. Um, and we need to make sure that we don't get pulled asunder by these things. You can hookshot onto these. I said you can hookshot onto these. There we go. With the iron boots on to prevent yourself from being um, knocked off. That eye is not a friendly eye. It wants to cause you damage and harm. But what I want to do really is go through this door here. Duh. Die, die, death. Die, die, death. Yes. The actual secret to this is there's a chest here. I thought you had to blow up the thing. I was mistaken. There isn't much to the hit to this place. Let's see what he has to say. Here, I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Those who have sacred feet should let the wind guide them. Then they will be led to the hidden path. That's what they're saying. Cool beans. I'm not sure about sacred feet, but, you know, whatever. Basically what it's saying is, you can't make that jump just by running. So you're supposed to run with the help of the fan. Pretty simple riddle. Aha, here's the one we're supposed to blow up. See how it has a crack in it again. Nice and obvious that you're supposed to do that. Wrong way. This side. There we go. And we open it up and we get the key of long lost keyhood. Now I should probably kill these Gibdos because otherwise they're going to cause me issues. Luckily if you're paralysed apparently everything goes through you. I didn't know that. So now we can get back out again. We can also get ourselves a chest to chest. Which contains... 5 rupees. Excellent. Let's continue on, shall we? Let's not mention that ever again. Um, and now, what we should do is... That pit I told you about last episode, the big huge pit I told you not to fall down in the room with the Grim Reaper, swinging, swinging their scythes around. Um, this is the room that you end up in. And if you pull this block... You will manage to get up onto that ship that you saw on the right-hand side just a second ago. And that's forward progress, that's where we need to go. And also it creates a shortcut if you ever need to quit, where you can go straight down to this point once you've uh, pushed this block out of the way. But it has to be locked in position, otherwise it re will reset. So be, wa be wary of that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So that's that then, that's in position now. Now we can pull, push up here. And now I need Navi's help. This should hopefully. This should hope. Uh, what the frig is happening with my accent today? This should hopefully work. Here we go. Hello. Then we can hook shot over to him. Get ourselves another school chiller and some heart. Yes. Come on, mate. He doesn't want to speak to me, he just wants to dance. Onto the boat. And then, play our song. We'll wave him off. See you later, guy. Ah, 
And now the deathly boat shall begin its course. That's what I imagine it's doing while it's bobbing up and down, but don't ask me why. That's what just just what I think. Okay. Hello, Stuffos. That's one. You're dead. Hello, Stalfos. Hello. You're dead. Goodbye. That's all I needed to do. So now we're off the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. Hmm. The ship is sinking about the ship. Get onto a safe platform. Gonna get some fire arrows out. I'm gonna blow. I'm gonna blow this up. No, I have to hit the bomb with it. There we go. Once you blow that up, this will start to fall. It gives way and falls downwards. And you can die from that if it crushes you. But luckily it didn't crush me. Although it should have technically crushed me. Oh well. Now. I'm going to preemptively switch to Din's Fire. For a future thing we have to do. But. Let us first proceed into this new exciting door. Of secret is. Also need the lens of truth. This room looks too easy, right? Yeah, that's true. It's a maze. We need to go in all three of these doors. The first one I want to go in is this one. And this is why I wanted this for. It destroys the gates. You can also shoot fire arrows, I think. Anything that causes flames will do. Although the game knows you have Din's fire at this point because you had to to get in. So, technically, we could finish the dungeon right now as long as we had one key. Because we have the boss key. I'm going to take this one as well just because. Another five rupees. And let us go through the other two doors and see what we can find. Although we are very close to the end of the dungeon already, so this one's not wasn't as long as the uh, water temple one. But oh well, I'm having a good time, so let's keep going through here. Up the ladders, ladders, stairs. They're more like steps because you have to climb each one. But oh well. Now this one's slightly harder. Because they're all rotator king. Ding, 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 ding. That's one. That's not quite two. Although I've got the right one straight away. Oh no, I didn't get the right one straight away. I just got the one that I wanted. So, I just need to blow the last one up. And we should get another thing we can use. Unless this is all some sort of ploy. Which would be unfair, well not unfair, but a bit mean-spirited, shall we say. Which is funny, because it's a shadow temple, but oh well. Oh, I missed it. The problem is that I have to, to get the right trajectory, I kind of have to run off the edge of the world, and unless I understand that I'm going to miss, I run off the edge expecting to hit it and then to get the item quickly, but that was a bit poo, but oh well. Right. Oh, it knocked off the edge again. It keeps bouncing. It's like basketball. Bombskitball. That's Mario Party game, but oh well. Um, let's keep running. I'm going to try and do it from a standing position and see if that can work. I just don't think it can. Oh dear. This is why you don't put magic on C buttons on a controller where C buttons are randomly picked at random. Oh, 
That was it. There we go. Oh, I got rupees. I need to hurry though, because I've run away. You can leave the green ones. Green ones aren't important. You can get green ones from bushes. What I can get is this. I think that's all the scorchers in this room. I'm not entirely sure, but I think so. I mean, in this dungeon. So, there's one more thing we have to do. First of all, we have to kill this warmaster that's just sort of hanging around. Uh, you can't charge magic while using the Lens of Truth, because that would be two items that use magic at the same time, and that's not allowed. At least according to the game, it's not allowed. Let's go through here. Ow. I couldn't tell he was invisible, but... What the hell is going on? I was getting beaten the fuck up was what was going on. Okay. So, there's one more chest for us to find. And this contains... A key! Yes! So, check on the map. We've missed one chest throughout the whole dungeon, which we do not need to get. It's not necessary at all. Get some arrows. Now let's get the heck out of here. And finish this temple. Apparently these things can go all, uh, re-dead on you. But they give a crap ton of magic, so I can't really complain too much. Okay. Let's get through here. Go across this um, decapitated bird. Well, no, it's not decapitated. What would it be? Um, severed. Severed bird. Yeah. It's not decapitated because the head didn't come off. Its body was cut off. Now then. Two songs to try. Scarecrow song first and then the song of time. Because I need to get up there somehow. There we go. And then the scarecrow song. I need to be able to get up to that platform and I can't without it. Hello. Hello Pierre. How did you do? How did daddy daddy do? Thank you. This is just to get extra provisions for the fight. So, thank you Pierre. I will see you next time. Okay, so let's go through this door which we need the key for. Which is a bit stingy really because you go through this one door which you need a key for, to get into the next door, which you need a boss key for. And that's it. That's all there is to the dungeon. Let's go. Let's do this shiz. Now this has been reused many times th throughout Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. This same four was used exactly the same time in, in Majora's Mask, only you didn't land on a drum. Okay, so, firstly things first, we need arrows. Secondly, if you use the hover boots, you can do that. Basically, the, the problem with this boss is for a lot of people that the, um, oh dear. The problem for this boss with a lot of people is that you is that you get knocked about too much because you can't move. What the hell? Get up. 
There we go. Yeah, it's that you can't move and then you get stuck. But if you use the hover boots, you don't get knocked about. You just hover for a bit. So you can't move. You can't get, uh, lose your aim of your bow. And that's it. That's basically the entire boss. Once, once you hit the two hands, you smack the eye with the arrows. And then just wail on it with the sword. You can use jump attacks with the Master Sword to make it not take as long as well, but that's basically what the evil miasma was, that thing. Bongo Bongo. And that's the end of the Shadow Temple. We cleared through it, we blitzed through it really. So let's get this heart piece. It gives us 13 hearts, which is pretty, pretty special. And let's get out of here quickly. We have a time limit to keep within. Chamber of the Sages! And Sadness will only be here one more time after this. Yo! The boy with the noble Zelda's Ocarina, as I expected, you have come. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker, and I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants. However, on that day seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the Sacred Realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time. My duty bound me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When last I saw you, as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. Soon you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face, and she will explain everything. That is when we, the six wise ones, will seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now I put my power, which should be helpful to you, into this medallion. Oh man. Yes. Shibidi bidi do this medallion is for you. Excellent. You see the shadow medallion. Impa awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Please look out for the princess. Don't worry, she'll be safe with me. Kinda. Graveyard! Okay, so that's the end of this chapter of Let's Play the, Oc Zelda the Ocarina Legend of Zelda Time. And, <laughs> next episode, we will continue on and go to the final prep work for this game. So, until then, I will see you guys next time. Later!